Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Zanger, and today we are back with another African Mini Zoo franchise mode episode. And uh, man, this this viewing just looks so super super cool. And we definitely need to check up on uh, on our now monitors and our tortoise to see if they are already going to get some babies or maybe they already got some but before we jump into it i would love to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel instant gaming because at instant gaming you can get a really great discount on planet zoo and on steel seas and of course other games like for example jurassic world evolution prehistoric kingdom the sim city skylines farming simulator and so many other awesome games and by buying via their website you will get a great discount Account, and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to the website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Now, okay, let's go without further talking because we really want to pay close attention to this. Were they already pregnant? Oh gosh, yes. Okay, you're 33. That is going to take some time, but I do remember that. Ooh, where are we? <laughs> what? I do remember that <gasps> we have babies. Oh, 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 oh. Give them all contraceptives. Give them all contraceptives. Okay. That is good. <gasps> there are so many. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> oh my goodness. Is that all? Or are there any other? Seven? Wait, what? Seven babies? So many males? Okay, I'm going to give contraceptives to all of these babies as well because we really... Oh, goodness. Well, um, I, I, I guess like this space is an issue, but it's not that bad. But we definitely... Not it's alright. We definitely need to make sure that there are no more babies coming in here. Like, it's gonna take quite some time, if I remember correctly, before these guys grow up. Like, it doesn't really look like it, but can we go to the Zoopedia real quick? Oh my goodness, an animal has escaped, what? Life expectancy is like 119 years. So 25 years they become mature. Oh goodness, yes. Okay, this is uh, definitely the only offspring we are going to get right now okay wait let's <laughs> what <laughs> i actually was screaming too loud in the last episode like oh no we're not having any issues anymore with escaping lemurs but here you are we have another escaping lemur you naughty naughty red raft lemur that is um you know what oh the vets are doing research right Yes, okay, so let's just emergency capture you, you naughty rat rat lemur. Look, we have a lot of research going on, and I actually already put one of the staff, uh, the vet, on the fire salamander to research. So let's go back in here, because I think we are able to... Oh, gosh, it's so busy in here now. <laughs> Well, hopefully that will not be as busy anymore in the future as soon as we are going to add like other habitats as well. But this is definitely an issue. How is this even possible? Like in the previous episode, it was all just fine, like really fine. But now this is like a new habitat. So all the guests want to look at this new animal. Like it's not the highest appeal. Ooh, the yellow anaconda is actually the highest appealing exhibit animal. So that is something we definitely need to keep an eye out for. Because if that stays this way and it keeps being too busy in here, then we definitely want to make sure... Yes, okay, this one has everything. To maybe replace the yellow anaconda? Even though it's not like that busy here. And the yellow anaconda is right here in the middle, I guess. Oh, we can add already a little bit of rock, so that is already being researched. This is the yellow anaconda, did we already? Yes, okay, everything is already set up in here, and this one is being researched right now. Good to know, even though there are no people here at all. 
It's funny to see that that is the most exciting, most、uh, appealing exhibit animal. And the shops are doing really well here now too. I do really like that. Guests are actually going to sit down here, and then they will enjoy the viewing here of the now monitor. I really do like how this is working and functioning right now, but I really have no idea how this 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 terrible. But this is all right. This is not. <laughs> That's definitely because I added these barriers underneath here. Like I wonder, there are barriers here as well. That should be maybe this one. Is there another one? There are two. Oh wow, there are actually three more underneath the ground. So maybe if we just delete these, then at least this will open up a little bit. So we will still have issues here. Let's see how this will evolve. I really hope this is going to fix itself. Also, these little babies obviously are like attracting more guests in this area. I'm guessing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to add another dog. Oh, we already have another dog ball here. We have a fruit pike, but I can imagine that we need a little bit more because of all <laughs> these babies. I'm not sure if this is going to be. Enough to feed these guys. Well, let's just wait and see if the the keeper is going to throw in any food on the ground or anything like that. All、oh, right, I almost forgot.、Um, I did have some issues here with the nialas and the bungos growing up. Also, the warthogs are growing up. We need to look into that. But I had to put a few up for adoption already. Also for the nialas because there were so many in here at some point. So yeah, there are、uh, a bit less bongos and nialas in here right now, and I think everything, yeah, everything is in green at the moment, and this one is also good. But I do think that the warthogs,、uh, we still don't have any protesters, so that's good. But I definitely do feel like we <laughs> there are so many. They all grew up now. Let's just make sure that yeah, just all of these. I guess let's go and release you into the wild. Wait, can we not do that with that last female? I don't know why that would be. Let's try that again. Oh, that's a golden status. Are you? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we have just three adults back in here, so we can actually just. Um, wait, which female has the highest? You are a male with golden status. Oop! What? Stop running! <laughs> you are a female with a golden status, so you two can get some more offspring in here again, and、uh, then we maybe keep like one or two or one from that offspring and and go and try and find a new family. Are you eating? <laughs> You're just so enjoying it. I do. <laughs> oh man, love these guys so much. Their noises just make me so so happy or something. It's so funny. <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> yes, absolutely love that. Um. So uh, yes, for this episode, we are. Wait, what is that? Alphabet resource complete. So for this episode, we are going to add the、uh, flamingo. We are going to build a real aviary for the flamingos this time. So not like we did in our tropical franchise zoo, like just in like an outdoor area. We are definitely going to play around with like these chain link fences and stuff. So、uh, the flamingos will be added probably somewhere over here. And I'm planning to add like eight adults. Is that actually a thing? Eight adults? Is that like a minimum? I really have no idea what the minimum should be. Oh, I actually need more. I need ten. Okay, now well, that's all right. So ten adults, and then let's say go for five. So that will be four hundred and four square meters and two hundred and sixty-three. Uh, water, so that is definitely、uh, a nice size for an aviary. I am thinking, but before we do that, I want to check 
the guest education rating. Wait, why? Oh, is that one not working? Do you not have power? It's been vandalized. Oh, wow. Good that we see that. We can actually... Oh, there is some more... Re They're so fast. Oh, my goodness. So if we go to crime, we can actually replace all of these. So that is now working perfectly fine again. We have tons of speakers around the meerkat habitat here as well. We have a few speakers right over here. I wonder if we do need some more. There are a few here. And then on this side, we have four as well. We have a lot of them around the lion habitat. This is the lemur habitat. Could use a little bit more maybe for the... Um, African penguin however wait are you like standing there all by yourself oh there are guests but you can barely <laughs> tell it's only the staff that is lighting up there is one here and like there is not at least I hope there's not like a spot anywhere else that the guests are looking at so I think this is actually fine even though it doesn't look that much I think that is all right so then we have the Nialas we have the bungos, we have the warthogs. I think this is all looking pretty good. We have some lemurs here with two speakers. Like I actually thought that these had a radius around them as well, but it really is only the speakers and not the signs, but that makes it easier to use like the other billboards and stuff as well as like education but you can tell that the guests really look at these educational signs and not to me at least i don't know at least not as i am really aware of the fact that they are going to use any others oh wait let's just quickly check this one as well looks all good like i really added a lot of the now monitors around here and then we have some right over here for the uh the habitat of the the daughters and these are like Exhibit speakers do not have this radius around them. Not really sure why that is, because if you place the speakers down, it does work. But I think your education actually looks really good. If we look right over here, is there anything we can do? Yeah, the research rating, like the advanced research, we could definitely look into that a little bit more. Fats doing advanced research. Well, as soon as the exhibits are done, we can actually make sure that they are doing uh, and research advanced. So that is fine. Education research complete, 55%. Is that from all the animals that we have in our zoo? I guess not. I guess that's just, just in general. All the animals that you know and have researched earlier. I think so, because also it doesn't make that much sense to me. I am actually going to train our staff 2000. Yes, let's just go and do that. And do we have any staff members that... Oh, I'm going to put you in the everything work roster. Because you do not have any work roster at this point. And let's have a quick look right over here. Conservation board influence per item type. Education boards, educational speakers, audio guides, and talks. Conservation. We actually do not have that many conservation signs. I could have maybe added one or two in the reptile house, which I did not do. <laughs> but this is all set up, and I still need to change these names here for the animal talks. I think, oh, also the habitat numbers change that, because that is going to make things a lot easier at some point. Oh, we have, oh, we actually have some babies in our exhibits. Now that is definitely a cool thing. Let's just pause the game for a little bit because that is going to give us, <gasps> what? <laughs> that is going to give us a lot of money, right? Okay, so I'll just keep one male and one female. <laughs> oh. Okay, can confirm that giant tiger land snail is breeding a lot. <laughs> Do we already have any? Oh, we also have some offspring in here. I wish there was like just the oldest one on top, but for some reason it's not. So I actually not sure, but I'm not going to bother with the exhibit animals to check 
if they ha are like related or something or like inbreeding. I am not. If we get some albinos or something, that would be really cool because I've never seen them. So I'm going to take that risk. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. We are able to also make sure that this one goes down again. Maybe this is also go Actually, where are all the gas? <gasps> it already solved itself. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's quickly check the Danube Crested Nude. Oh, you also already got some offspring. You guys are so fast. So these are going to the training center and uh, these two do not have, uh, doesn't have, oh, hello, fire salamander. I'm going to get one more fire salamander. If we, oh, that was, that's the reason I couldn't find a male and now I can't find a male again. So yeah, next time, hopefully we are able to find one. So if we now go back to the exhibit training center, uh, we have a lot of golden ones and stuff. Quick trade. It's not that much, but hey, every money is more than welcome. Just quickly to check, talking about money. Do we still have a loan that needs to be repaid? Do not. Perfect. Do we want to have a marketing campaign? We already have one over here. I want to go for uh, another marketing campaign. So we're going to go for the uh, TV commercials, a family hour. So if we just go back to the overview right over here, marketing should be going up now with that new marketing campaign. Woohoo! <laughs> we have five stars of a zoo reputation. Everything is five stars. That is just perfect. And I think that's just a great time to start working on our flamingo aviary right over here. Let's see what we can make for these beautiful birds.
man, the lighting just looks so beautiful over here with the sun coming from the backside. This looks so good, but oh man, this flamingo aviary definitely took me a lot longer than I expected. And that was mostly due to the fact that I basically started off with like this round shaped aviary and just it was not enough. So I had to extend it at some point because man, it took so much time to try and see if I was able to like make it work and it just wasn't. So yeah, it is an extended aviary, but uh, definitely very cool. Now, obviously the guest can get a little glimpse here of the uh, flamingos and they all do that. Maybe we should try to add like a, um, a vista point inside of here because I have not really the feeling that many guests are going to use it. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go and have a look right over here. So this is definitely the extended version of the aviary, but I will make sure to like add a few different versions in the Steam Workshop so you can maybe uh, play around with it yourself as well. Also with like pieces of the aviary. So hopefully that will help out. So first I had like two of these uh, forge box feeders next to each other. And then I realized like, this is not going to be like a really big aviary. So like we're not going to have too many flamingos in here. Like the minimum is 10. So we have 10 adults in here right now. And as I said, like the requirements for space was like 404 square meters. So it's a little bit bigger. And then uh, 263 square meters for the water. This is like for 10 adults and 5 babies. So it is now just big enough. And uh, uh, in the beginning, it really was way too tiny. Like the water was just only <laughs> halfway or something like that. It really was no bueno. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this aviary. The cool thing is if you do something like this, you don't really have to pay attention to like a, a shelter area. So that is, oh, actually, this is really fun. Oh, I like that. You, oh, <laughs> okay, that was really <laughs> right. Okay, I like that they're using these trucks. <laughs> it's just a perfect way to, to poop with, I guess. So I just I did this as well, I think, in a tropical franchise. And I, I just really like it, even though, like, realistically, for flamingos, this is not really how they make their nests. Like, I've been to the zoo recently, and I saw, like, they have more of, like, these mud things coming out of the ground where they sit on. So, yeah. even Like, even the aviary itself, it's way too tropical. It has way too many things in it. But thank God we are playing on medium mode. So it's all right. And I couldn't help myself to just keep adding things because it just looks so beautiful and so lush in here. So yeah, I just, I am just a really big fan of creating this aviary. And it shows me again how much I would really love real birds like that fly to create more of these type of aviaries for them because it's so much fun. But yeah, okay, so we only have one forge box feeder because I think this is going to be enough. And if not, we're just going to add a normal feeder in this habitat or aviary as well. So they do, as I said, like you don't have to. This already serves as some kind of shelter, even though it's not really realistically, but it's all right. But we do have a little cave right over here so they can also get a little bit of privacy they can go walk like all the way at the back right over here as well and this one is actually going to so i think just works just perfectly fine and this is the same that we did in our um in, in the tropical franchise series and i just really loved it and i think it just looks awesome looking at like you're looking at it this way so yeah i'm just really extremely happy with this house that we have some more nests right over here actually not entirely sure if they can use that one i'm assuming they can i mean they can also oh they cannot oh we should actually make sure that they can that would be just super cool maybe if we just lower this a little tiny bit 
Oh, wait, then we just maybe need to add this like so. Lower this a little bit. Maybe this is already enough. Oh, oh yes, we have a little sprinkler right over here. I actually did never see them use that. That's really cute. Okay, this is not working, but I'm going to make sure that it works because that will be just super amazing. So when I upload this, including everything, then I will make sure that this one is working. Maybe we can just add like a rock or two right over here where they can like, like use it for like a stairs or anything like that. But look, I like this. I like this a lot. Please, Frontier, give us more birds because it is so much fun to create these aviaries for them. So right over here, uh, they can obviously also have a little swim. And uh, then we have, of course, is this viewing gallery. And I think, especially from this angle, like the shape, it looks so cool. Oh, man, yeah, I can't get over it. I really enjoyed making this one, even though it took a lot longer. We have one donation box right over here, which I actually now doubt if that is going to be enough because all these guests are like standing here and is there like a donation box they will pass by is there one maybe hidden in here i actually don't think so so maybe we should add like one or oh we have some messages uh we should add one or two on the sides here because well we do not want to miss out on the money that they are going to uh, to bring so maybe just one over here as well like obviously i would love that these guests would not be standing here and look into the habitat, but it is what it is. We just have to deal with it. So what do we have right over here? Habitat cleanliness is at risk. Oh, this is the African. <gasps> oh, you are using your poover, but oh, oh, this is definitely bad. They, they can clean with more, like we have like a lot of money right now, so. If we just like hire another staff member and just make sure that this one is also in the uh, African Savannah work roster, like maybe we can just put you on cleaning. So only cleaning, work zone, African Savannah. So hopefully that is going to help a bit more with the cleaning. Like we have a lot of animals in here probably now. Oh, look, look, we are getting really close now to the point where we cannot <laughs> return. <laughs> but we do not have enough space anymore for the giraffes. The cleanliness is at risk. That is something we are working on. I am going to give all these animals contraceptives now. <laughs> I think it's about time to do that. We have one zebra still being pregnant, but we are going to, we need to control this a little bit more before it's too late. So we're going to give all the animals contraceptives i think you guys can also get some contraceptives i think this is going to be fine <laughs> so if we just have a quick look right over here at the food tab is there anything that we forgot food three we have the greater flamingos perfect the rest is all good and done vet research that's the danube crested newt and the fire salamander both finished so that means that we can go back to these exhibits which is going to be right over here let's just uh, take this shortcut <laughs> and walk all the way through our reptile house which i absolutely love oh look <gasps> it's going to use this bamboo feeder maybe oh, i love this um this is the danube crescent nude so we are just going to add all the things we can in here. This is the fire salamander, which we still do not have a meal for, which almost feels like it's it's broken or anything. Let's just have a quick look here again. Oh, we have a meal. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to send you in. That means that we are hopefully finally are getting some offspring in here. There is no offspring in this one. There is no offspring in this exhibit. Um, we have two exhibits right over here. Is there more offspring here? No, no, no. But it could be that I had the game on pause mode for a while. So I guess it makes sense. Like the snails here already sold like recently. So 
I think it's all going to be fine. Oh no. You're going to grow up. Oh, that's so sad. You're so adorable. But it is what it is. You guys, we, we, we can hopefully find you a new home very soon. And then these two can get more offspring, right? I mean, yeah, they definitely have the age to uh, give us some more offspring. So we are just going to keep these two in here for a little longer. I think it's time to wrap up this episode, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed it with this new flamingo aviary. The first, I think, ever real aviary that we build in Planet Zoo. So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, as I said, like if you want to download parts of it or like the habitat or like other habitats and stuff that we build throughout this series, you can obviously find everything in the Steam collection list in the description of this video. And of course, do please let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this beautiful flamingo aviary. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.